Um, but hey, so to, on to the second topic, which is about the shared security. Um, it, so uh, the way I can't, to be honest, I can't speak on behalf of the entire Cosmos community because, you know, the, the world before you launch something and after you launch something, architecture design is very different because, you know, before it, you know, you, you decided the roadmap. Now it's like, oh, we get, you know, governance decides the roadmap and I, I, I can propose you have, things. You have users with yeah. thoughts and feelings. <laughs> yeah. So my personal proposal for how shared security works should work on the Cosmos Hub is it actually doubles down on this notion that not everything ne needs equal security, which is the premise of Cosmos, where I, what we want is the ability for, let's say you built a new chain. You can basically show up to the Cosmos Hub and say, here's my chain protocol. Um, and then validators can look at it and say, they can look at, okay, this is the rewards. This is what the use case of it is. This is how much we predict, how much we, we might be able to make from fees on running this chain. If this is something we want to run, every, unlike Ethereum or uh, Ethereum 2.0, which is like, you know, there's a big validator set and it assigns like, okay, U50 to this shard, U50 to this shard, U50 to this shard. In our system, what we say is each validator can make their own decision to say, do I want to run this chain or not? And mm -hmm. so you will maybe have some smaller hobbyist validators say, yeah, you know, we're only going to run a few really high value chains. And then maybe you have some more professional style validators who say, yeah, you know, we have the, we can scale out basically infinitely, you know, we'll, right. we'll just run as many shards as we want. And when they do that, you know, they're putting their atoms at slashable risk for any faults that they commit on these new chains as well. And so what's going to end up happening is you're going to have some chains that have all thousands of validators on the Cosmos Hub co-validating them. And you'll have some sh shards, I don't, I don't, I'm going to use the word shards, I don't know what the name is going to be, but um, that it will maybe have like 20 validators. But you know what? That's okay, because the MakerDAO mm -hmm. chain doesn't need the same security as the CryptoKitties chain. Yeah. So do you, so you imagine some sort of, um, like, it, the hub at the hub, I can maybe elect to say I'm running this, or maybe in the chain I I, I signal, yeah. and the chain looks at the hub and goes, yeah, you're a validator now. You're in our set. Yeah. So you can imagine that like the staking system for all these other chains is actually on the hub, and so you stake on the, or you know you you, you use items that you already have staked, but you basically say I'm making these slashable for faults of this thing, and then over IDC, it lets the chain know that, hey, this pen, this validator added to your tendermint validator mm -hmm. list. And so the slashing conditions on the hub then have to be like more generic and accept proofs. So you can, yeah, you can define yeah. the slashing condition. So by, by default, it will automatically, you know, built in, it'll be able to accept like tendermint slashing conditions. So like the liveness and the double signing mm -hmm. one. But yeah, you can, you can, write more slashing conditions in like WebAssembly where blobs where you can say, okay, uh, let's say this chain, you know, you, you, you can basically define more and more slashing conditions as yeah. you want. The one worry I have, and I'm sure there's ways around it, I just haven't thought about it much, but the um, like race conditions and me doing something slashable so that I can effectively like mm -hmm. take my one stake that will be ultimately slashed, but like mm -hmm. do eight things with it on the different chains before and you know conduct some attack across many chains for the value of just my one stake um, yeah that, that would be the kind of stuff that i think it would be the that'd be the fun stuff to think about yep and yeah um, so those are um that, that's some of the things that we're trying to figure out particularly is how leveraged can you be on that like how right this is something generally in cosmos where i'm personally of the opinion that it's okay for the system to be securing more value than the underlying staking token itself is worth um, because I think that a large percentage of the security actually comes from uh, coordination uh, problems where I think like you know the fact that you need to get a third of the validators to coordinate to, to, I, I think we get more security from that than the actual slashable amount um, yeah interesting and so how should so yeah this is so I think a lot of the people in the Cosmos community are generally in favor of this sort of heterogeneous, non-uniform non, non -uniform, 
uh, shared security. But then the, the questions now then come around are things like this. What it should, should they be allowed to be over leveraged or not? And if so, mm -hmm. how much? And a lot of questions around that. Yeah. Adriana, would your, 